The king dreams he is king, and he lives in the deceit of a king, commanding and governing, and all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Where, then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches and fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that feigns and foregoes. Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. And his own dream, no man knows. And I too dream and behold, I dream I am bound with chains. And I dreamed that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? A tale that is told. What is life a frenzy extreme? A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. And what is a dream but the absence of thought? And what is a dream but the life of another? That is only live in the mind. A dream is nothing. Play Why don't part. you understand? It is nothing. Play your part. All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Why part. did you come? Play we have part. nothing part. to give you. Play we are just actors part. following Play a script. Your Play your part. Life is, is a dream. Okay, uh, you, you're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I, I need you to do us a favor. Go, go behind the stage and the radio, the radio, turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it, please. It's really important. We're depending on you. Today's the day. This is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionates, they are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises! Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn! Th th that is, if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old, and today us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I. I'm. I'm getting nervous. It, is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. Ah, I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg.
I'm so happy. We had never had the theater for us. And from not having anything, to have the whole Gold Sign Theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but has rooms everywhere, and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. We think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. Is it even possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No, even better. Is it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theatre? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theatre, they have also bought us some decorations which Helena is organizing, and some extra pounds Geoffrey has spent on books to write an original play. I always wanted to do that. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere.